Hey guys, it's Mr. Fudge, your balloon man. We're going to be monkeying around today. I have to tell you, kids go ape over this next balloon. Uh, in fact, absolutely bananas. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's a monkey in my cheesy fun. So anyway, we're going to go and do a monkey. And the way we're going to start that is I'm going to use a brown balloon, about a hand's width here. And I'm going to start at the nozzle end. And this is a very interesting head that he's made, that uh, this monkey has. It's a... It's made by making two separate ear twists and then pushing them together. So we'll show you that in just a moment. It starts off with a one inch bubble that you pinch and twist, followed by another one inch ear twist. And again, another one inch bubble, followed by another one inch ear twist. And you get something like this. Now, if yours is facing like this, that's okay. Just make sure you go ahead and twist it down so that both the nozzle and the tail piece are pointing the same direction. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend like this middle bubble and these two side ear twists are one bubble. And we're gonna pretend like we're ear twisting that. So I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna pinch and twist. Now in your hands, it's gonna feel like the long balloon and the short balloon are wrapping around each other and these are staying stationary. Because that's probably what's really happening. But when you're twisting, the motion's gonna be like you're twisting these three around each other. So I'm gonna pinch and twist it just like so. Now if you get something like this, that's fine. If you pull these ears and twist those, you get those nice big monkey ear things going on. So that's what we're looking for there. So that's gonna be our basic monkey face. Now the key with the rest of this balloon is we're gonna make the body and legs as small as possible so that we get the biggest possible tail, okay? So we're gonna do that with a small one inch bubble for a neck, a medium one and a half inch bubble for a leg, and if you wanna get fancy, you can make a smaller bubble. There's gonna be two smaller bubbles uh, for the feet. Then another bubble here. Now if you didn't get fancy, it would just look like dog legs and that's fine. You can also do the poodle, or you can make one big bubble there and it's like he's playing with a ball kind of thing. So. Anyway, then we're going to go another medium bubble, and then remember, medium for the monkey is like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, so the smaller the better, it gives you the more tail. And following that, make a couple of medium bubbles for the legs. And there we go, we get the most interesting, weirdest looking dog thing ever, because it's not quite a monkey yet. If you have a little bit of tail left, give it a good squeeze and push it up to the end. Otherwise, we're going to do kind of like we did with a snail where we roll and hold and roll and hold until we get all the way up to the top. Now at this point we don't have a way to wedge this into something for like we did the snail. Instead we're going to try to shape it so that it stays this way. Now I pinch a little bit at a time all the way around or I can rub it on my shirt, heat it up and you don't want to squeeze at the same time with both hands because then it goes boom, but squeeze a little bit back and forth. The heat moving through it, it's shaping the balloon and telling it where it wants to go. It's starting to feel this position and say, yes, let's stay like a curly tail. And then if you slowly let go, I let go of it in my hands without moving my hands apart. If you slowly let go, it'll try to keep that shape. And at that point, you can make a nice little monkey. So there you go. Thank you very much for joining. It's Mr. Fudge, your balloon man.